Hi, I'm Tuki from Sony and today I want to introduce you to the new DSLT A65 and A77 from Sony. And that wasn't my accent. I really did just say DSLT. These cameras are unlike the old-fashioned DSLR cameras you might have seen. Sony's unique translucent mirror technology means you get the fast and intuitive all-digital experience of a point-and-shoot compact camera with the professional performance of a top-spec interchangeable lens one. Let me show you what I mean. The number of frames per second a camera can shoot has always been promoted as a measure of performance, but frankly, what it's really about is getting the shots you want. Where a typical SLR might shoot 4 to 5 frames per second, the A77 does 12, and it's not about bragging rights. The perfect smile on your child's face or the ideal angle as a snowboarder flies past often happens between the moments. You can capture it with video of course, and we will get to that soon, but it's not the same as having a massive 24 megapixel photo that you can blow up to a poster size print and still be amazed by the detail. The SLT system on these new alpha models offer fast, continuous autofocus when you're shooting in burst mode, like 12 frames per second, or capturing HD movies. Because the special translucent mirror is fixed in place, your subject stays in focus even as they come towards you. Conventional SLR fall over with those sorts of things because they flip their mirror out of the way every time they try to capture an image, and in doing so, flip off the fast autofocus. The A65 and A77 both shoot movies at up to 1080p, full HD quality, and at 50 frames per second. With twice the frame rate of most cameras, they capture the subtlest movements, meaning it looks outstanding when dramatically slowed down. One of the best thing about a regular point-and-shoot digital camera is the fact that you're always working in the digital space. You see images previewed on the screen before you take the photo, playback is instant without taking your eye off the scene, and quick setting changes are done right where the image is being framed up. The A65 and A77 take this advantage and wrap it into cameras that feel and perform like true professional tools. OLED technology in the viewfinder not only gives you a full view of the scenes through the lens, but also instant playback of your images, instant previewing of your setting changes, and some amazing tools that will keep you from ever wanting to go back to a regular SLR optical viewfinder. Things as fundamental as a digital level or as beneficial as the viewfinder's ability to automatically increase the brightness so you can focus and frame scenes perfectly in any light. In dim lighting, it's not uncommon to have to shoot with shutter speeds of a tenth of a second or more in order to capture enough light. That might seem pretty fast, but even at that speed, the slightest hand movement results in blurry images. With Sony's A65 and A77, you can easily shoot using slower shutter speeds in low light thanks to Sony's unique stabilization system that is built inside the body of the camera. This gives you the advantage of being able to have stabilization on any lens. And I really mean any lens. Wide angle and fisheye lenses, fast prime lenses, and even specialist creative lenses. Something simply not possible with other SLRs, which relies on the lens itself to have stabilization built in. When shooting in low light, most people don't like the flash, as it doesn't give you a real representation of the scenery. The main issue is that you sometimes need to increase the ISO or sensitivity, which increases the noise in your images. It is now possible to capture images in low light with minimum noise. The A65 and A77 can take six consecutive frames of the same shot and create one noiseless image, a great feature called multi-frame noise reduction. With Sony new DSLT cameras, it is easy to be creative and artistic. For example, using Sweet Panorama, you can easily capture amazing panoramic sceneries in 2D and in 3D. Or by using the built-in picture effect, you can quickly create an artistic shot, like making your photo look like a painting, or if you were in New York, you could select the yellow color filter and have all the yellow taxis stand out with the rest of the scene in black and white. 
Sony has a large selection of amazing lenses to suit the DSLT cameras from fixed focal lens to telephoto. If you're serious about image quality and you want quality optics, you will enjoy Sony's Carl Zeiss lenses and Sony G lenses. With over 160 years of optical expertise, Carl Zeiss lenses are renowned around the world for their unparalleled quality. At the top of the range you will find alpha lenses bearing the G designation. Those have been specially constructed to the highest standards of optical performance to deliver the best photos. With over 30 different lenses available today, Sony has a wide range of focal length that should satisfy most users. As previously mentioned, Sony is releasing two new DSLT cameras, the A65 and the A77. So what is the difference between the two? The A77 is a high-end model and has a couple tricks up its sleeves. It has a three-way tilt screen which really helps get the best shot. The flexibility of the screen is amazing, as you can even take photos of yourself. With its magnesium alloy chassis and with dust and moisture seals on all ports, the A77 is more robust and ready for the elements. If you want a durable camera to shoot in the desert or in the snow, the A77 is the camera for you. With two dials and a joystick, the A77 gives you faster access to your manual controls. You can also get a vertical grip as an optional accessory, which is a must if you're planning to take a lot of portrait shots. The grip takes two batteries, so you can take more photos without being interrupted. Sony has really come up with two amazing cameras. Thanks to their unique translucent mirror technology, they can offer lightning quick speed and precision, so you can capture your subject in focus and at a perfect moment in time, not the moment after.